Hey guys, Phil here from Local Motors. Got a little update for you guys on the tandem mount, the vehicle cradle for the data acquisition. Uh, all these parts were 3D printed. Uh, it's gonna go through one more iteration before we actually start running it because it's not enough of a positive lock on the device. But the general uh, idea is that you would drop it to the cradle, rock it back to lock it. While rocking it back, which you can't see in this version, uh, you'd be engaging the pads on the back with the pogo pins on the cradle, and that would be your electrical connection. So it's as easy as bringing it to your you know, desk, your workbench, uploading new firmware, downloading code, doing whatever you gotta do to it to get it to function the way you want, and then dropping it into your vehicle. Uh, and if you have multiple vehicles, you'd be able to have cradles in each vehicle with only one data acquisition, um, which makes it much more usable. So that we could run in the tandem, and then maybe in an hour run the data acquisition in the uh, supercharged rally fighter or the new track car and get some real life data. So a couple things are going to change in this cradle. Uh, the biggest is the back plate. It's actually the wrong size, so it needs to it needs to be short a little bit shorter to get a better lock on this. Uh, redoing the uh, spring. This is just temporary. So once you have the uh, the new spring in and the new latch to get a more positive lock on this, we'll uh, be running around the parking lot. Hoping to get some preliminary testing done tomorrow just to get some very raw GPS, accelerometer, gyroscope, and compass data that I can then take back and analyze to make sure that we're getting an acceptable um, resolution out of our sensors, that it's running at an acceptable refresh rate um, to really kind of get a good uh, GPS track that we can overlay over a map. Um, this mount is not as rigid as it should be um, in order to get very good accelerometer data. So um, I'm also kind of interested in seeing how well I can filter out vibrations through software. Um, so tomorrow hopefully we have a good subset of data that we can use as a baseline and start enhancing the system.